Hey, we have another integral here today from UNSW 2021, problem 10. We have an integral from the cube root of 2 to the cube root of 3. 3x 3 to the 14th minus 12x to the 11th plus 18x to the 8th minus 12x to the 5th plus 3x squared dx. Okay. When I first looked at this, I was thinking I need to skip this problem because it's just the power rule and we don't need to do anything. But then when I take a, took a closer look at it, it's maybe not quite as tedious as it may seem as we can do something with this. Uh, maybe we can do some factoring to clean this up. So what I want to do start, let's just focus on the algebra for a moment. I'm going to factor out a 3x squared. But as you notice, everything's a factor. Everything has a common factor of 3x squared. So we factor that out. We have x to the 12th minus 4x to the 11th plus 6x to the 6th minus 4x cubed. Okay, and I think this cleans it up a little bit, makes the coefficients look a little nicer. And then from here, what we notice, the power on all of our x terms are divisible by 3. Okay, so what I can do here, we can just do a little substitution, not a, just an algebra substitution. If I say t equals x cubed, then I can rewrite this again. We'll leave this in terms of x out here. And then so this is going to, I'm just doing this to help us with the fact, just to make the factoring more clear. So we can write this as t to the fourth, which gives us, right, t to the fourth is x to the twelfth minus 4t cubed plus 6t squared minus 4t plus 1. And now just looking at the symmetry of this, we can actually factor this pretty easily. Also, you can kind of see that um, a zero, this would be one because all the coefficients add to zero. But what I want to do instead is just look at Pascal's triangle for a moment. Okay, just looking at Pascal's triangle over here on the right, we have this pattern where you'll notice we can add, like if we add one and one here, we get our two here. If we add one and two, we get three. If we add one and three, we get four. So this goes on forever. But what this represents is this is our coefficients on a binomial expansion, like we have here over on the left. You're probably most familiar with like the case, if we have x plus y squared, we get x squared plus two xy plus y squared, matching this row of coefficients. Similar, if you had x plus y cubed, you have this row of coefficients. And so this row here represents our x plus y to the fourth. And you notice this expansion, we have the same coefficients we have right here. We have something really similar here. We got 1 minus 4, 6 minus 4, 1. Now you notice if we plugged in here, if we look at this as x plus 1 to the fourth, then we'll get this. But this is not quite what we have there. We have the negative sign. So all we need to do is use x minus 1 to the fourth. And we're going to have basically exactly what we have here, except for in, this is in T. So then seeing that our polynomial here in T is exactly in this form, using the Pascal's triangle, we can rewrite this. And from there, all I'm going to do is plug back in for our T value. So we have this all back in terms of X before we get back to our integral. So we're going to have 3X squared minus X cubed minus 1 to the fourth. And now we're back to our integral. But what we can do, instead of having to do the power rule five times, which is just a little tedious. I mean, it would be fine. Now we can actually do a u substitution because we just have these two terms. So what I'm going to do is we're going to call this our u. So I'm going to say u equals x cubed minus 1. And then du is 3x squared dx. We have that right here. So then we'll do the substitution. But first we need to update our bounds. So putting, so when we plug in cube root of 3 in here, we're just going to have 3 minus 1. So this top bound is going to be 2. And then similarly on the bottom, we plug in cube root of 2. We're going to get a 2 minus 1 is 1. Made our substitutions, we're going to have this is going to be just u to the fourth du. So now we're doing the power rule again, but we just have one term. So we're going to get, integrating this, we're going to have just u to the fifth over 5. Then let's just plug this in and evaluate it. So 2 to the fifth is going to be 32 over 5 minus 1 to the fifth is just 1 over 5. So for our final answer, we end up with 31 over 5. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.